So I'm going to discuss the difference between a format and a wipe and I'm going to discuss this with regards to both a hard drive and a solid state drive. So let's use this very basic schematic. We've got a 16-bit hard drive to the left. In reality, hard drives are nowadays 2 terabytes is pretty much standard, which is 2 times 10 to the 12 bits. But anyway, we're going to use this 16-bit schematic as an example. So it's got two partitions on it, denoted by the square brackets. And within the first partition, which is smaller, is the master boot record. And within the larger partition, which is the bulk of the drive, is the operating system boot drive. So on the operating system boot drive, you've got a certain amount of use space and you've got a certain amount of free space. And all of this has some information on it, i.e. some code, which is in its raw form a series of ones and zeros. So if we go to format this drive, then all we do is remove the square brackets, i.e. remove the partitions, and the entire drive is designated as unallocated space. So let's take things a step further and format the drive and then reinstall the operating system. And if we compare the left to the right, we've got a new master boot record, which is the same size, and we've got a new operating system boot drive. Now, the use space is smaller than the use space of the old install because say programs aren't installed, say files and folders that were made by the user aren't there, say it's not got all the updates, etc, etc. So the use space is smaller and the free space is slightly larger. Now what is free space? Well free space is by definition it's space that is free so if you need to store more things on the drive then you can overwrite the data there but note one thing the data is still there unless you actually physically overwrite it with new new files new folders new programs new code etc etc so let's look at what we've got highlighted in yellow seven eight and nine code 111. Let's assume it's malicious. So first of all we format the drive and we see that 7, 8 and 9 lies dormant within the unallocated space. The operating system is then reinstalled and 7, 8 and 9 once again lie dormant within the free space. Because this is still here it might find a way to reinfect the operating system. So someone thinks they've clean reinstalled Windows and found that they've got reinfected instantly. So let's look at hard drive first. How do we go about formatting it and wiping it? There's a utility called disk part that's inbuilt into the Windows installation media. Because it's inbuilt to the Windows installation media, it will of course pass secure boot. And there's two commands available. There's clean, which will format the drive. And there's clean all, which will format and wipe the drive. So let's now look at what the difference between a wipe and a format is. First of all, with a wipe, you actually perform a format, so you designate everything on the drive as unallocated space. And then instead of just leaving it as unallocated space, you go through it bit by bit and overwrite everything to a zero. So the malicious code at 7, 8 and 9 is now completely wiped. So if you go to reinstall the operating system now, it won't automatically reinfect you. 
So although this part can be partially used on a solid state drive, this part clean all is not recommended for a solid state drive. So the storage controller of a solid state drive works differently with respect to that of a hard drive in that it reorganizes the data with respect to time. So it's not like a constant line as shown before with 1 to 16. These get rearranged and in my basic example everything's being rearranged randomly. So what happens when you go from the bottom to the top and you try and wipe 1 to 16? So well, you, maybe you'll get to 1 and you'll start at 1 and wipe it, but by the time you get to 2 it's changed to something else. So you might end up wiping an, another number and by the time you get all the way to the top what's going to happen is you're going to have wiped some some bits multiple times and you're going to have missed some others so if you miss 7, 8 and 9 for instance on the first pass then you're automatically going to have this underlying in the free space and it will automatically reinfect your operating system. If you decide to OK, go the other route and decide let's wipe the drive, let's wipe it again, let's wipe it again, then eventually you'll wipe everything. But such intensive writes isn't recommended to a solid state drive as it will diminish the lifetime of the solid state drive. So fortunately there's another way to wipe a solid state drive and it's called secure erase because the, um, the information of a solid state drive is basically determined on the way electrons are stored in their cells one can use a voltage spike and this voltage spike essentially will clear all the electrons defaulting them down to the zero position and um, because you use this voltage spike and clear all the solid state drive cells simultaneously it's a great deal faster than the conventional wipe of a mechanical hard drive and people who are used to wiping hard drives will be a bit skeptical about this because as I mentioned it's a lot faster because you're wiping everything simultaneously. This secure erase is unfortunately not part of Windows installation media so we need to use an additional operating system in order to perform the secure erase. So Magic Parted is a Linux operating system updated to pass secure boot and it contains a number of utilities such as the secure erase. It costs $9 to download the current ISO or you can get a year subscription if you want to use some of their additional services such as the antivirus etc. This tutorial video was just an informational tutorial video to discuss the differences between a format and a wipe. I'm going to create an additional tutorial video on the use of magic parted.